Alrighty, we are back and now we're ready to create our first mind map. I have my mind map pulled up and actually this mind map that you see is going to be added with this product. So you, if you have this product, you have this mind map. <laughs> okay. And I just pulled this up to show you what we're going to be building. We're going to be building something similar to this. Okay. I'm going to try to follow the same structure, so I'll probably be referencing back and forth. Okay. Um, because I just don't remember everything that I put here as I'm teaching you. So, that being said, I'm going to close this here uh, shortly. But before I do that, the last video I was telling you about the tree, the outline. As you can see right over here, here's our outline right here. It shows our notebook sheet one, and it shows all this information: how to create a mind map, da 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 da. So it's pulling in everything as I have it on this side okay in the actual working area so within the working area it's pulling all of that information over here into the outline area and you can see that reflected there now let me show you the properties you can see now that the properties here so if I click on any one of these and you'll understand what these will do once we get into the course you can see that here are all of your options that you have to choose from okay so here's what we're gonna do now I think I'm going to regret this but I'm going to close that and then we're going to create a new mind map so we want to go to file and then I'm going to show you this one first but we're actually I'm going to show you the new blank map but we're going to be creating a new one from this one here okay so create new mind map oh sorry that's the wrong one I'm going to create new and then there is that box that popped up when we first installed the software remember when I hit run and then you have all these different uh, templates that you can choose from so if I was to choose one of these like double click on it it will automatically put in a default template okay so I'll close that because we don't want it and I'll just show you one more you have all these little choices here it's pretty cool and then all you need to do is just come in here and change the information which you will be able to do once I show you how to use the actual software okay so here we go we're going to create a new blank map okay a new blank map is a map without any templates it's just fresh and new okay so click boom and it comes up with general topic and I think I want to open let me see if I can open the other one without um, causing uh oh sorry let me cancel that file open and then I'm gonna open that my map that we were using okay great alright so now we're gonna start building this thing okay and with these tabs you can click on them and drag them and put them in position to wherever you want so now my my map is in front of the my map that we're actually gonna be working on so let's start we are going to create our first title you might want to call it that so I'm just gonna copy this and I'm just gonna try to mirror it like I said and then we're gonna go over to our new workbook for and then what I'm doing I'm just double clicking on it or you can just click on it and then start typing and then paste okay and then there is how to create a mind map which is right there so now what we want to do we are going to click file save as and then we'll save it as mind map template alright bada boom and then just click save so now we have mind map template okay so when we come back we're gonna start we're just gonna follow this outline right here okay so when we come back we're going to insert topics and subtopics okay so that's what we're gonna do when we get back so I'll see you in the next video